Hi everyone, Mike here with another episode of Merch Buzz. I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about drop shipping. I understand that most of my content that I go over is print on demand, it's merch by Amazon, it's Etsy, Etsy Printful, all that kind of stuff. But I feel that uh, a lot of people that used to spend time on drop shipping have actually stayed away from it the last couple of years because print on demand has uh, become so I guess the word that comes to mind is uh, convenient it is honestly so easy that a lot of people are staying away from you know what would be I guess in their minds uh, or, or what would be considered a little more complicated uh, to kind of process because with the drop shipping you're still uh, working with customers and you kind of need a, a a sales channel that you know is is somewhat uh, reputable and I mean that in in the sense that if you're going to be selling and I'm gonna keep using the word drop shipping if you're gonna be drop shipping products that are you know fifty dollars or a hundred dollars maybe you're going to choose to do uh, sell products that are two or three hundred dollars because you want a larger profit margin uh, then you really want to buy or customers would want to buy from a reputable source now the reason i'm saying all of this is uh and the reason i even decided to talk about drop shipping is because i think a lot of people are actually missing out on some pretty good money uh, and uh, the reason is because the money is out there the, the distributors are out there and like I said originally the process of drop shipping is just a little more complicated than print on demand but again if you're in this to make money drop shipping is a great way to make money and a great way to make a lot of money so a couple of things so if if you're not let's uh, again if you're just a beginner i'll just describe drop shipping briefly drop shipping is uh the way that i see so so the way that it works is there's a company there's a distributor that is selling a product it's a company and what they allow you to do is to make a sale and they will ship the product to your customer so you're not actually purchasing this product up front you're not investing any money and if you're selling through a channel for example like ebay you actually don't even need any capital you don't need any money to be able to do this because by the time your customer pays you you can use that money to purchase and to, to pay for the product that is actually being shipped to a customer if you do have uh, some money uh, to spend, for example, then, then you can pay for these products up front with your credit card or, or whatever, however you want to pay for them uh, and collect money through your online store. Or let's say if you're selling on eBay, then you would be collecting money uh, through PayPal. So again, just a quick summary. A company allows you to sell their product because they will ship the product directly to your customer for you now like I said you still have to sell that product so the, the way I would see it is uh, you know you're kind of the sales person uh, for that company uh, but again you're you're doing it through your own stores what I've kind of concluded and the reason is the the, the market is uh, so saturated. There's so many people that are drop shipping that are basically selling uh, the same products, especially if we're talking about eBay and Amazon and your, let's say, your Shopify store. People that are in the business are working with absolutely any distributor that you can think of, any company that will actually allow drop shipping. Uh, people that have been in this game for a while are working with those companies. So a couple of things that, that I've noticed that, that is a, 
kind of like a must and, and that you can do is definitely working on your uh, distribution list. Basically, you want to have multiple companies that will let you sell their products. Uh, the key kind of piece of information, like I said, the, the thing that I've concluded is that this is a game of volume. So if you're thinking, you know what, I'm going to find that one product and uh, I'm going to be the only person, for example, that sells it, unless you actually have the rights from the company to be uh, their designated uh, kind of uh, source of sales, seller, uh, just think that everyone else will be doing the same thing. So the reason I'm saying volume is because you're going to be going for smaller profit margins, understanding that there are so many other people doing the same thing. So when I say volume, volume, I'm talking about thousands of uh, products that you you actually want to have thousands of products up for sale because like I said keep in mind that there are other people selling the same product so if you're going for a smaller profit margin and you're saying you know what I'm gonna make a few bucks uh, from each sale then you absolutely need a couple thousand products to be making hundreds of pot or possibly uh, thousands of dollars each month there are companies out there for example one that comes to mind is and I'm not exactly sure if it is a B2B number two. So it would be B, letter B, number two, B, business to business, uh, dot com. So B2B.com. And what this company uh, provides, the service that it provides, is a list of distributors uh, that are accepting drop shipping. And uh, I think that you're actually even able to integrate. Uh, their, their channel, their application, their platform uh, through your Shopify store. And then I, I believe that you can link their your eBay store uh, to their website. Now, here's where I'm kind of a little hesitant to do this because I've actually done this. I've gone through this and I've, uh, I've uh, figured out all the bugs and everything. And, and I'll get to that in the end. But uh, how this channel works, and I guess I'm not, I'm not at all associated with the channel. I've just used the platform before. Uh, so they have probably a hundred or possibly by now hundreds of distributors, uh, all, all types of products. Anything that you can actually think about uh, is available for sale through this channel. And uh, like I said, if somebody was to buy some, if you were to link your eBay store to their website then it's a simple integration I believe if somebody purchases something then you can make an order uh, through B2B and then it goes to the distributor but again B2B will charge you a few bucks for uh, the processing fee what I've concluded is you're better off using a service like B2B until you come up with your own list of distributors and contacting those companies directly. If a company is selling through B2B, they will sell to you directly. They actually will have a drop shipping program which you're able to use uh, directly. So this is not something that you have to do through a third party, which would be considered uh, B2B. Now, I want to take a second and actually just clarify that I'm in no way saying that these, that the, a service like that is bad or anything. Like I said, I've used it before, but I'm saying when you get to a certain point and you actually build a comfort level where you're able to uh, talk to distributors directly, you don't need a middleman. So if you're actually starting out and you, if you're not sure about processing orders or possibly even uh, negotiating a, uh, you know, a better price or, or talking about different quantities and all that kind of stuff, uh, then it makes sense to use uh, B2B. 
especially because some of these companies will be asking for your uh, tax number they will be asking for your website so if you don't feel uh, that you're at the level where you actually want to go through that examination and, and assessment uh, then it makes sense to you know pay 30 bucks a month in additional processing fees if you are then able to actually use the drop shipping uh, services of let's say a hundred companies what I'm saying is once you actually go through these lists and you identify the companies that you uh, want to work for and whose products you want to carry and you actually do have a an online store or a website that uh, that looks really professional uh, where the company will actually want to sell their products uh, and if you do have a registered business uh, you know and like I said a tax number if you are a legitimate business uh, then it makes sense for you to deal with these companies directly uh, like I said not only because of the price point but you're gonna be saving uh, some money when it comes to processing fees uh, and basically the monthly service fee that you would be paying for uh, your membership. So, a couple of uh, websites, and I'll, I'll post this, uh, I'll post the links down below, but for example, if you're into cosmetic products, let's say you're into fragrances, uh, you want to uh, sell some makeup, and, and I'm talking about brand names. I'm talking about uh, reputable companies. Uh, remember this website. Actually, hold on a second, just one second, because I, I'm thinking about two, uh, two different ones. If Not fragrances. If you're talking about all types of, uh, for example, phone accessories, if we're talking about uh, electronic accessories, if we're talking about uh, handbags, if we're talking about, uh, you know, what I can't even, video games, for example, then vi <laughs> I'll go back to, to what I was going to say, is then remember this website, XS, so th those two letters, xsdepot.com. Now, with that website, what you're able to do is you're able to create your own dropshipper account. This company this website has thousands of products that you're able to sell and like I said on your not only your store but your eBay store your Amazon store uh, whatever the case is even if you want to stock up and, and buy let's say a hundred video games uh, they will give you uh, certain price breaks uh, for example if you buy more than 10 more than 50 more than a hundred uh, you will get a discount. But again, the reason I'm telling you about this website is because you can go, you can create an account, you will sign an agreement form, uh, you can sell their products on, let's say, on eBay, and then once you actually make a sale, and this is the, for example, what I talked about at the beginning where a lot of people are comfortable with POD because uh, everything's automated, now what you will have to do is you go you log into your account and process that order for your customers so you would actually have to put in their address uh, process the payment and then excess depot will ship the product to your customer so the way you make money is the price difference between uh, the price that you sold the product for and the price that is offered to you as the drop shipper. So, again, depending on the product, and, and as I'm talking about this, I'm thinking about all the different products that they uh, have available for sale. So let's say if you sell a hair dryer, because they, you're actually able to sell hair, hair dryers through this uh, website, and you the, the, the price that's available for you is, let's say, at $17 a piece. You can actually charge $30 and make, you know, uh, seven, seven, you can make $17 bucks, uh, on that, uh, or $13 on, on that hair dryer. 
the, the point that I'm trying to make is it does take work, but again, depending who your customers are and where you're selling, that's going to determine your profit margin. Because if you are going to sell only on eBay, trust me when I say that that product is already available on there. Because people that actually have uh, professional stores, they're able to sell, you know, they're able to list 10,000 products. And I assure you that they have listed absolutely every single product that you come across. And here's the reason why. The reason why that those products are listed on eBay, and I'm so confident to say that, that you will find one of them up there, is because of the way that you can actually upload these products to your eBay store or to your website. And it is through spreadsheets. So basically any one of these websites will offer a product, basically it's like a product uh, inventory spreadsheet with all the information that eBay requires uh, you to upload it through that function. So this is not where you're gonna be uploading and listing products individually, one by one, but you're able to list 500 or 1,000 products at once. And all you have to do is spend some time cleaning up a spreadsheet and putting it in a format that eBay expects you uh, to use. So for example, you can do the same thing uh, on Shopify. So within a few minutes, this is the processing, this is the upload time, uh, within a few minutes, you can list a thousand products to your store. So, and the other website that I wanted to mention earlier just came to me, it's Fragrance X. Uh, and again, remember that, because now you have thousands and thousands of fragrances. And like I said, these are brand names that we're talking about Armani, CK, anything that you can actually think about. And it's not only one product, but it's every single product that they have, including every single size that they offer. So like I said, we're talking about thousands of products. So let's say if you wanted to uh, build an online store through Shopify uh, for dropshipping purposes, and you're not going for that kind of niche market, you just want to open up a, you know, kind of like a virtual superstore, you can upload thousands of products from let's say five, 10 or 20 different distributors. Uh, but what you will have to do is you're going to have to keep track of all of this and keep uh, up to date with uh, any price changes or inventory changes. So that's, that's uh, the tricky part because you don't want to make a sale and uh, the distributor has run out of that product. So like I was saying, these spreadsheets that you're able to lo uh, download from their website and upload to eBay uh, or Shopify, you're able to actually even see uh, the, the inventory, for example, uh, stock numbers. So if, if you're saying, you know what, this product looks like it's gonna sell pretty quickly and they only have seven in stock compared to another product where they have, you know, 7,000 in stock, uh, you might want to pay attention to that kind of stuff, especially on eBay, because if you get a few bad reviews, uh, you know that your sales and your, your account, uh, I guess, health or status uh, will definitely uh, go down and, and your products won't be showing up in the search uh, results uh, as often, right? And, and if you get a few bad reviews or if your rating goes below, you know, 99 or 98%, uh, you will not be making any sales because nobody will trust you on eBay. Okay, so so just kind of to summarize it, I'm thinking out loud here. You can download product catalogs that have tens of thousands product details available to you. And then what you're able to do is if you do a cleanup of those products and put them in a format that, for example, eBay needs it to be in or Shopify because they're different formats, they're different types of information. Uh, you're able to very quickly list thousands of products and they're ready for sale immediately. And that's the power of dropshipping that I was talking about. 
Again, nobody's preventing you from, uh, for example, picking one company and uh, pushing their products aggressively. What I'm trying to say is those products are out there. So what I've noticed, what works for me is to have a large number of products. And, and again, I want to put emphasis on what it means to say a large number. I'm talking about thousands and thousands of products available for sale where my profit margin is a few dollars. Now, if let's say if you were to be critical of what I just said, and I'm going to do that for you, I'm going to go through this exercise because this is how I felt at one point. I was saying, why aren't people that are in our business a little more thoughtful? Because let's say if, if I wasn't dropping the price aggressively, then you wouldn't have to. Let's say if my, if there was some kind of like a, an imaginary virtual agreement where all the uh, sellers said, you know what, the minimum profit margin that we're going to go for is $5. Because, you know, why would you want to sell a, a product and make less than $5? Uh, then that would be amazing, right? But that is not the world that we live in. People are competitive. People are aggressive. People do this all over the world. So if you're based in the United States, if you're based in Canada, a few bucks to you, for example, means uh, very, very uh, different. It has a very different impact than what a few bucks is to somebody in China or India or the Philippines. So if you are able to do something that somebody from a little tiny village in China is able to do and they're saying, you know what, to me it doesn't matter if I make uh, five cents a sale, uh, be, then you're competing with those people. And that's, that's what I want to put emphasis on. That is the reality that we live in. Like I said, I would love it if we can make 10 bucks a sale, but we can't because of the competition. So people have lowered the, the price of product so much that you're only able to, to make a few bucks on each sale, again, depending on the price range of that product. So basically where you're going to be competing with others and where you're going to be kind of separating yourself yourselves from others is uh, in the, the creative advertising, the creative marketing, and then also the status and the reputation of your store. And I'm talking about eBay specifically. If you don't have 100% uh, positive reviews or 99 and you're not a top seller or, or at least above average, you know, what's the standard, above standard, above average uh, seller, uh, you will not be successful because people will not buy from you. But if you are a, a top seller, if you have a bunch of, you know, a thousand or hundreds of, uh, of uh, customer reviews uh, on eBay and uh, all the comments are positive, all the, all the feedback that you've received from other customers is positive and uh, a person has an option to buy from you and uh, the same product for maybe a dollar less from somebody, let's say, who's shipping or whose online store is based internationally because, for example, it will say that your store uh, or that you are located in the States or Canada uh, versus somebody from, let's say, India. If your store is in India, somebody buying a product from North America will pay a dollar or two more to buy from another person from North America. So keep that in mind. That's your advantage, right? But again, if you are located in India and you're offering shipping worldwide, uh, you're able to lower your price to the point where you do get a lower profit margin. But again, maybe that is what you're going for. The, the couple of key points and kind of, I'm, I'm just going to start kind of uh, wrapping up and summarizing the, the couple of key points that I want to make is volume. You can be extremely successful with high numbers of products, but to actually be able to, to work with these distributors, what you will need is, is a good looking website. So start looking or start working on that because 
uh, any distributor that I've actually uh, worked with and basically applied to be a, a, a drop seller for, drop shipper for, has asked not only for my website, but basically my business information. Uh, but if your, if your website doesn't have that professional online uh, store look and feel, uh, you will not be approved. There are also certain distributors that are asking for a certain uh, amount of sales a month or year. So if you're if you're just starting out, certain online distributors will say, "Sorry, we don't want to work with you because we want you to be hitting, let's say, fifty thousand dollars in sales a year before we start working for you." Because for them, it's not worth it if you're going to sell one product a month. It's all about making money. So website business. And then the, the approach that you should take with these distributors is, is not one of, uh, of where you're, and how do I say this? You're definitely asking to work with them. You're asking for their business, but you don't want to come off as if you're, you know, begging. And if, if you're just simply starting out and you're willing to take uh, whatever comes your way. You, you need that confidence. You need to tell the distributors that, yes, you have an online store, that, yes, you've done this uh, for a while, that you know exactly what you're doing, that you will uh, promote and sell their products in a, in a fair and uh, an attractive way where you won't uh, ruin the reputation of their product by, by, making, it, uh, by making them, for example, uh, feel like they're worth less or lower quality. So even when you're selling, sending your your uh, initial email, uh, make it sound and look professional. Have your uh, signature, for example, include your full name, your company name, your your website address, your uh, your phone number, whatever it takes, uh, because you actually you want to present yourself in a very professional. Uh, way because uh, if you send somebody an email and you say you know I'm a sales manager for this company and they're able to look at your online store they're able to possibly you know find your LinkedIn account and you're the owner of a certain company then there's a lot more credibility to you there's a lot more credibility to your online store and that's basically uh, the approach that I would recommend taking because then you are a real business uh, nobody needs to know that you know you're working alone from your uh, basement apartment or, or or you know your uh, parents spare bedroom uh, because uh, again like I said this is about making money and if you can present your way present yourself in a way uh, where you do look official uh, then that's how these uh, these businesses will treat you so Again, a lot of people have moved away from drop shipping. My suggestion to you is uh, learn how to play around with these spreadsheets, and maybe I'll do a I'll do a video on uh, you know file exchange. This is what it's called on eBay. Uh, basically, how to clean up a, a spreadsheet where you're able to list you know 500 or a thousand products in uh, in a few minutes because then you can open up a professional store that's gonna cost you $150 a month, uh, but you're able to list a thousand products in the United States. You're able to list a thousand products in Canada with your online store subscription. And then you're also able to list hundreds of products through the uh, auction option, uh, which again, you can use those spreadsheets uh, to upload those products. Uh, let me know uh, what you guys think about the whole thing. Has anyone actually considered it? Is anyone doing it? And then if you have considered it and you chose not to do it, what are the reasons? Let's talk about this because uh, I want to offer uh, an explanation. I want to offer my thoughts about uh, why it is a good business idea, why it does make sense strategically. Again, if you're in this to make money, if you're in this uh, from a branding point of view and you're saying, you know what, I actually only want to sell my own products, then I completely understand. Dropshipping isn't for you. But if you if you're, want to make some money with, with zero investment, 
look into drop shipping. It makes sense. If, if like I said, you can make a lot of money. Uh, it does take a little work. It does take a lot of organization, uh, but the money's there. Anyways, like I said, please leave a comment down below. Share this with your friends if you liked it. And as always, thank you for listening.